Hello, I'm Michael Bieler Garcia from Mentor Graphics, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about TSMC's Open Innovation Platform and their recent conference, which has a very nice book here, which would be excellent reading if you have a copy. Uh, if you don't have a copy, the mentor sessions have been placed on semiwiki.com. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about each section that the mentor participated in and our partners, and then give you the opportunity, if you're more interested in having more analysis or more understanding, to go to semiwiki.com and uh, see the presentations yourself. Uh, TSMC's OIP platform, or Open Innovation Platform, is the ecosystem that they have developed to support uh, their customers, Fabless and FabLite, uh, with the EDA partners and the IP partners to help uh, accelerate design. Uh, they have a conference once a year, and Mentor was pleased to be able to have four of the sessions in the EDA section, uh, which was the largest uh, number of sessions uh, that was awarded to any partner. Uh, our first session was on COAS, C-O-W-O-S, which is chip on wafer on substrate, which is TSMC's new 2.5D uh, stacking. As everybody knows, Moore's Law now is both uh, growing, scaling on chip, and then growing vertically with 2.5D and 3D stacking. Uh, Mentor's offering is part of the reference flow. In fact, uh, the Olympus place and route uh, cockpit is, was called the cockpit, or defined as a cockpit for COAS's first release by TSMC. In addition to Olympus, we have offerings from Caliber, uh, as is expected for DRC, LVS, and extraction. Uh, in addition, we provided a new solution for thermal, uh, linking Caliber to Mentor's new product line from Flowtherm that was acquired in the last couple of years. This is a new application for Flowtherm in the chip space as opposed to a classic board and system level. And finally, Tessin. The test solution for Mentor uh, is the preferred solution for testing how you actually test a stack and get uh, understanding of what a center chip or a chip in the middle of a stack is doing uh, after it's been assembled is quite tricky and Mentor has done uh, delivered a solution to TSMC that allows that to be offered to the ecosystem. Moving from that, uh, as much as we talk about 20 nanometer being done, it's not really done, it's uh, just starting for most customers. And the question of double patterning. Uh, there was a session hosted by Mentor and TSMC that talked about double patterning and how you actually work it, how you understand it, the basics, and then how you actually going to fix it. Uh, there's some very nice slides again on semiwiki.com. If you have other questions, contact your salesperson because double patterning is unique to your design style. Uh, while the caliber tools are capable of doing quite a few things, we'd probably want to tune it to exactly what you needed to do. Then moving after on to uh, the next step of the process is reliability. Uh, Caliber Perk uh, co-presented uh, with TSMC again on the new reliability checks for 28 and 20 nanometer, uh, especially voltage differential checks, and how those are very critical to people who have uh, multi-rails, multi-voltages in a design. How do you ensure that you're really getting a design that meets the criteria and will last over the life of the product in the field? Again, I'd encourage you to go look at those slides. Uh, and finally, auto waiver. Auto waiver is a scenario of really driven by a ecosystem that's fabulous, where you get IP from multiple sources, you have multiple IP internally, and how do you know that all these things are waived or if they're built early, if that check matters or not when you're trying to integrate IP from multiple sources? Uh, and there's a presentation from LSI and Mentor that talks about how they've done that with TSMC to accelerate the LSI designs uh, through tape out operations by having a good understanding over what checks have been waived and what haven't for the IP that's used in multiple scenarios. In addition to the standard Mentor presentations, we had two additional presentations where Mentor was featured by partners from uh, our Open Door program. Uh, we had one from Lawrence that used Caliber verification and LVS and extraction as part of a test shift they did on high frequency with Stanford University. And then Springsoft, uh, who has now been acquired by Synopsys, presented their reference flow for analog mix signal, and in it a key portion of that was dedicated to Caliber Real-Time, which was launched first with Sp Laker, Springsoft Laker uh, last year and has now been in added to the reference flow at TSMC. Quick overview. Um, 
if you get a chance next time, if you're able to attend TSMC's OIP conference next year, I'd highly recommend you do it. Uh, for now, if you want to know more, please go to semiwiki.com and look at our slides. Thanks for listening. <laughs>